Hello everybody. Hope you're doing good. Thanks for stopping by today. I've got the Maxpedition Monsoon Gear Slinger bag uh, that I'm going to be reviewing. Um, this bag is, uh, I think is a, is a great size bag for just kind of everyday carry. I prim primarily use it uh, as a truck as a truck bag. Uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's designed as a sling bag. You've got one strap. It uh, slings over your right shoulder and sits on your on your left hip. Um, but uh, so it makes it easy to put in my vehicle. Uh, I just sling it over the, the driver's seat and have access right you know right to it very very quickly. Uh, again, it's a Max Edition bag. Uh, you guys shouldn't be strangers to Max Edition. They're 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 very popular uh, bag. Um, they make very good stuff. They have uh, a lot of innovative ideas and and come out with different types of materials. Uh, so they're always they're always come up with new things. Um, but this particular one again is the monsoon. Um, it is, you know, I guess it's primarily designed as a like an like a suburban urban type of you know bag. Um, you know, but it's 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 a type it's a size that. Uh, you know, if you want to use it as a as a day pack out in the field, I think it'd be it would do the, it would do the trick. Um, like I said, I just use it as a truck bag because it's easy to get access to. Um, there's a couple features on here that I wish they would change or look into changing, uh, um, and I'll get into those in a few minutes when I, as I'm reviewing the bag. Um, the bag itself, uh, it's got a large exterior flap out here, which is kind of a rain a rain flap. Uh, it also doubles as a you know, a compartment flap that you can stick a, uh, a raincoat in or a fleece jacket in and cinch it down so you have quick access to it if you need the, need the jacket. It's uh, designed and built with uh, a thousand denier nylon, ballistic nylon, real heavy duty nylon. Great stuff. Uh, nice fast tex buckles um, all the way around. YKK zippers uh, with pull strings. It's got a large um, water bottle uh, pocket here on the side and it's 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 a large one I'm carrying a, as you can see here I'm carrying a, a large Yeti uh, I think it's a 32 ounce Yeti um, it's got access for you know earbuds here um, on the inside I mean on the back side of the bag it's got a large you know, shoulder strap you know very comfortable shoulder strap uh, it's got the 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 raised islands, padded islands on the back side of uh, the main panel, back panel, uh, so it allows airflow. Um, again, it's a very comfortable bag. Here on the back side, you've got a zippered compartment that you can use, but use as a hydration um, compartment, or as you can, I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, on the inside, I've got a uh, concealed, uh, Max Vision concealed carry holster inside velcro inside to the velcro panel in there so it's 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 nice which which that brings me to the one one of the things that i that i wish uh they would change i mean again this this bag is designed to be worn uh over your left your right shoulder and it sits on your left hip i'm right-handed so if you're going to swing this bag around you can, you can certainly access the main compartment very easily. Get right into the main compartment very easy uh, right here, which makes it you know real convenient. Uh, you don't have to take the bag off to, to, get, to, to get access to the inside at all. But if you wanted to access the concealed carry side of the, of the bag, it's down here. So it doesn't allow for any for quick access to your concealed carry weapon. Um, so I wish I wish uh, Max Position would address that because I think, I, you know, in my mind I think that uh, if they made another zippered uh, access um, area here, you can, you, not only can you access the main compartment, but you can quickly access the concealed carry uh, uh, from this from this top side as well. That's just my thoughts uh, on it. Um, Again, the other thing about this bag, again, it, it, it sits over your right shoulder, sits on your left hip. For some people, especially, you know, me, I'm right-handed, so it's, it's, it's comfortable like this, but sometimes I like, to, I like to carry it on my, 
on my left shoulder. If I, you know, carrying something in my right hand, I like throw it over, you know, throw it on my left shoulder. If it gets heavy, just, you know, they give one shoulder a break. But it's, it's kind of awkward to, to, to carry this bag on your left shoulder. So if they would uh, maybe look into uh, making an ambidextrous type carry carry bag, that would be nice. Uh, I know some of their other bags that they have out there are ambidextrous. So I'm hoping they're going to look into it and make this bag uh, that as well. Uh, as we get around, you know, to your to your waist strap, you can see it's got a Molly set up here. Uh, it's got a, a zippered access pocket right here. It's kind of small, you know, but you can get your keys in there. You can get, you know, put change in there. You could, uh, you know, hunt license, you know, whatever. It's just a small, small pocket on the outside, zippered pocket on the outside here. Uh, on the back side of this uh, strap, there's a there's a, a snapped access pocket in the back again very small pocket you know I don't know what you could put in there you know how you do whatever you want it's just it's just an accessible pocket um, again the Molly strap on the on the shoulder uh, on the shoulder strap come around to the top got a nice carry handle here makes it very convenient to grab and, and carry the bag real you know grab it real quickly and carry it out of there you know whatever you're doing nice uh, fast text buckles you undo the flap, drop this down. You have these um, these cinch straps here. Like I said, you can put a jacket or a raincoat or whatever in here. Put it on. Put it on the top of this. Connect these fast tex buckles here. Cinch them down. Put the flap over and it's secured in there. If you don't want to use them, just just put them out. Roll them up. Put them out of the way. Then you have your, your mesh pocket here um, that you can access to. Another, another mesh pocket here, it's secured by this Velcro. <coughs> the only issue with this thing here is that you know, it's kind of a small, small pocket, so if you got big hands, it's hard to get down in there, but still, still more pockets that you have to stow, stow stuff in. Um, it's got dual uh, YKK zippers here to get quick access, either access to one side of it or you can pull it all the way down and it clamshells open like this which uh, exposes a large um, the large compartment inside on the inside you can see got a large compartment here you know put a tablet in it uh, notebooks uh, documents maps whatever you want to put in there another zipper pocket up here mesh pocket here for whatever you want whatever items you want to put in here your knife your a GPS, uh, whatever. You have quick access to it. Um, so yeah, here again, here's the headphone access port here. It's a rubber, rubberized uh, um, access point here. You can put your headphones through there. So if you want to put an MP3 player in here or iPhone and listen to your music, you can do that as well. Um, again, overall, nice bag, well made. Um, You know the, uh, the the dimensions on this thing is um, is 14 uh, long by six wide and 20 inches high. It uh, it's a 16 liter bat, uh, capacity or a thousand cubic inches, if you will, like 2.7 pounds in weight. So it's not it's not a very heavy bag at all. Um, but yeah, um, very nice bag. If you guys. Uh, uh, this piques your interest. Uh, I would encourage you to go to uh, the Max Prediction uh, uh, website, which I'll put a link down here uh, below. That's so you can access uh, their website. Again, very very good quality bag. Uh, I, I haven't heard any complaints about Max Prediction. Um, so take it for what it is. Uh, uh, I think if you got a bag, regardless of whether it was the uh, Monsoon or any of their other gear slinger or any of, the, any of their bags, I think you'd be happy with it, really. Um, that's about it um, for this bag. If you have any questions, please hit me up and I'll do my best to answer the questions. If you have any ideas of what you would like to see uh, reviewed, let me know. I might, I might already have it and I can review it. Um, um, if I don't have it, I'll try to get it and, and put up a review on it. Uh, so I just want to uh, 
I'm being being new to this. I just want to put out a uh, an honest opinion on 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 these items. Uh, you know, non-biased opinion, honest opinion on it. So please, uh, you know, make comments below. So let me know what you guys like to see. Um, I'm I'm gonna be trying to put up uh, you know a video about once a week or so. But yeah, let me know let me know what you want to see. Um, one, I, I want to give uh, a plug uh, to a, a local business here that deals with tactical gear. They're, they're Tidewater Tactical. You can see them wearing the shirt here. They were nice enough to um, hook me up with this shirt, so I definitely want to put a plug in it uh, for them. They uh, have a very nice tactical shop in Virginia Beach. Um, they also have a, uh, uh, a web store, a website, so um, I will put the link to that down below as well. Um, Give them a call. Check their website out. Give them a call if you see something you like. They got a lot of nice stuff in there. Uh, tell Crystal uh, that Davey sent you. So anyway, if you guys uh, like this video, if it helped you out, uh, please hit the like button and um, certainly make comments below. Um, I look forward to, to hearing from you. And I will talk to you next time. So stay safe and we'll see you later.